It's happening again. There's a new scam going around that is deadly. If you get a message saying that your face is leaked and it has an image that won't load, be careful. Clicking this loaded image will allow the scammers to steal your account is a message that a lot of people receive if they've been on Discord. My favorite Discord server is the Peter Griffin Fortnite fanfiction server. But regardless, admins will always send this message and not really do their due diligence because it's actually, as it stands now, impossible to get hacked on Discord by just clicking on an image. However, I am going to show you a scam that does involve a fake image that will steal your account, but there's a lot more steps required and it's not as, uh oh, you click the image, you're hacked. It's not that deadly. So what will happen is that you will receive a message from a friend or someone on a mutual server that has been hacked and they said, wow, you did not just send me a photo of your gene serpent and your face. Oh, wonder what a gene serpent is. And you'll just see that it's just a loading image and you'll wait, you'll be like, why isn't it showing up? So your natural curiosity will get you to click on the image and it's still not loading. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click open original, then it'll say, oh, hold up, it'll take you to some place. You'll click on yep, and then, oh, a Discord login page, and you'll decide to log in. You messed up royally. You very much messed up. What's actually going on here, if I peel back the curtains, is that this image in itself is not actually a Discord loading image. It's not an image loading. It's actually just a GIF. And what's happening here is that a scammer will make a website where they have this as their embed. You know how if you paste in that tenor GIF that I just closed, if I paste that into Discord, you'll notice that it just shows the image. And if I click on it and click open original, it will take me to that tenor website. Well, what these scammers do is they actually have it so that this is part of their website. So you click on the image, and when you click open original, you're going to be redirected to their website. Now their fake website can have literally any URL. In this case, I just made it a really long URL because chances are people will skim over this and not read it and pay attention to it. However, the link could be something short like, oh, fakediscord.com slash login. And what will happen is that when you actually go on that website, it will redirect you to a different website, which will be the fake Discord login page. So what happens from here is basically you are logging into the scammer's own website. They are phishing your account credentials. Now, in some Discord phishing websites, they will have both the email and phone number and password and a QR code you can log into, or they might just have the QR code that you need to scan. Now, once again, I just want to make it clear, never ever scan a QR code. It's very easy to get hacked. I highly suggest just using your username and password because a QR code bypasses two-factor authentication. Regardless, if you scan the QR code or if if you enter in your username and password, then the scammers will have access to your account and from there they can spam all your friends with that, you know, fake message, or they can just buy Nitro on your account. This is just like the QR code scam. Now, if you've fallen for a scam like this and you're sending all these messages to your friends, you do need to go to your user settings. You need to change your password. You need to, if you have two-factor authentication enabled, make sure you delete all of your two-factor authentication backup keys. Also, go to your authorized apps and just deauthorize everything just as a safety measure in case they have some fake application that got authorized. It's just, it's a very good way of making sure your account's secure. And finally, if you did log in using your username and password and you use the same password for everything, then you need to change your password for every single account. That's why I highly suggest you having a different password for every single account. So what are some ways to actually prevent this from happening? It's extremely straightforward. First off, what you can do is you can actually just go to your user settings, go to privacy and safety, and just turn off allow direct messages from server members. And that will make it so that, you know, some random guy on some server that you're on won't message you this garbage. That's the easiest way of not getting scammed on Discord. And now regardless, let's say your friend sends you this message. What's another way that you can tell this is a scam? Well, first off, you need to be critical about this. Have you ever taken a photo of you with your gene serpent and your face in it? Have you ever sent a photo like that on Discord? Probably not. So chances are they just don't have this photo. It's just not possible. Regardless, let's say you do fall for this and you decide to click on the image and click open original, Discord does give you a warning saying, hold up, this will take you to a website. Are you sure you want to go there? Generally speaking, I would just not go on the website. If you have to open up a website with an image, make sure it's a website you can trust. Something like app or Discord spelt incorrectly. For example, this link here, if you're just skimming over, it's very hard to tell that this is not the legitimate Discord website. You'll notice that it says app. 
this is not the real Discord website. And if you still click on the link because you, uh, you just didn't notice that it was DL scored and not Discord, and you end up on a login page, make sure to look at the URL. You'll notice that this is fakediscord.com. This is not the real Discord. And once again, it doesn't have to be fake Discord. It could just be, oh, Discord with an L. And that's really hard to tell that this is fake Discord. So anyways, that's some tips to kind of avoid the scam. Generally speaking, you just need to be critical about things and just keep your eyes open and be skeptical. So that was a lot of serious stuff, and I just want to expose the funny side of the scam and the whole reason why it keeps on popping up, and it's because there's actually scammers who are scamming the scammers. I know, it's pretty deep. But what will happen is that there will be fake applications that will pretend to have the functionality where if you click on an image, you get instantly token logged. And these guys will advertise it on, I don't know, YouTube or whatever. And of course, every single one of these skid YouTube videos, they're hilarious. I love them. It's always European rap music with uh, some sort of image logger and they'll have some like application and they'll show it quote unquote working but they've just video edited it or did some trickery to make it look like it works and what they'll do is they'll just either sell a broken application for money and just scam the scammers so hey give me fifty dollars for something that just doesn't work you know what are they gonna do oh i was trying to scam someone can i get a refund on your scamming tool that scammed me i don't know it's silly but what some scammers will actually do is they'll just, uh, I don't know, release it for free or something. And you'll be thinking, ah, I just want to scam some kids. So of course you'll go on GitHub and be the script kitty you are and just, oh, I'd love to copy this tool. This tool specifically says a simple Discord image logger. When your victim clicks on an image, their token, the wrong there by the way, is sent to a webhook. Now the unfortunate thing about this specific GitHub repo is that it doesn't actually have the exe file that they're trying to use, but basically if there was an exe file they would say how to use. All you need to do is upload any image to Discord, get the link, run this converter exe. Hold on, let me zoom in. Let's run converter exe some random application on our computer that uh is trying to scam people of course let me run it on my computer and they're totally not gonna try and scam me of course um i mean running some random exe that you find on the internet is stupid especially if it's around the scam community. But regardless, I just think it's hilarious that, you know, the scammers are scamming the scammers. I guess it's some sort of uh, a karma system or something. Regardless, if an admin sends this goofy uh, message saying that you can get hacked by clicking on an image, maybe send them the video because of course they kind of need to know that you can't really get hacked by clicking on an image. However, there are a couple of ways that are pretty stinking close. Anyways, if you like the scam stuff, uh, let me know, and I'm trying to go over every single Discord scam, and my goodness, it's a journey. So uh, if you want to follow it, click the subscribe button thing. You uh, YouTuber stuff, you know, it's so awkward. Oh my gosh. Anyways, I'm going to go call my mom. I love you guys. Mwah.